Welcome back to my garage. In this episode, we are going to talk about how to make uh, the wrong cylinder fit your engine. Why would you do this? Um, well, if you uh, say you have a very, a very old engine and there's no um, cylinders available for it, then you might want to make something uh, from a something else fit. Uh, maybe there's very little uh, or very few powerful performance kits available and you want something more powerful then you might try to find something from uh, for a different engine and try to make that fit or maybe um, maybe you want to uh, have a much larger bore or uh, volume cylinder volume than is available for your engine and then you might want to uh, uh, use a cylinder from a different engine so anyway uh, I'm going to talk about what you need to consider when you are uh, planning to do this and I am going to show or make a small tutorial on how to make cylinder spacers for dummies so um, I've divided it up in uh, small parts so here's the first part the stroke and the stroke is uh, the travel of your piston so how how uh, f uh, far the piston is traveling from bottom dead center to top dead center um, this has to be uh, similar for uh, the cylinder you are going to use uh, similar to the engine you have so or uh, the engine you ga get the cylinder form from has to be uh, of similar stroke to the one you are going to put it on because if you go uh, far away from uh, the same stroke so much shorter or much longer stroke uh, you will have uh, you will uh, change the port durations by quite a lot uh, so uh, keep the stroke fairly similar I will go into more detail about uh, how it changes uh, port durations and uh, what ways you can uh, use that to uh, play with uh, with um, the port timings for your engine. But uh, that will be a um, another episode. Okay, so that's the stroke. Uh, stud spacing. You. Uh, the stud spacing is uh, the space between the cylinder uh, studs, the studs that hold the cylinder to the engine, and uh, this might be off or different than the spacing on your engine. So the cylinder may have different spacing between the holes than your engine. Uh, how to fix this? Uh, the best way is to fill in the original holes in the engine and then drill and tap uh, new ones. If it's just a slight difference, you might, um, might, uh, or you can uh, just uh, maybe drill out the holes a little bit. That might do the trick, or elongate them. That's better uh, in the right direction. Or if it's just slightly off, you can um, uh, use. Say you're using M7 studs, you might uh, fix it by running M6 studs instead. M6 with M7 threads on one end. Uh, if it's uh, far away from, um, if the two stud spacings are far away from each other, uh, you can make a, and if you need a spacer, you can make a spacer with elongated uh, stud holes and then make offset cylinder studs. That's one option. Also, if you are running a very thick spacer, it might be possible to bolt the spacer to the original holes in your engine and then thread in or drill and tap and thread in the new cylinder studs in the spacer itself. So that's... Um, that's... Um, that's the way they've done it on the um, stage six R and R and D, R and T uh, cylinder series. 
if you've seen that. Um, that's about it. Next thing uh, is um, clearance, clearance in uh, clearance for the cylinder skirt. Um, there's a possibility that there's not enough room in your engine case for this cylinder skirt or this new cylinder skirt. Uh, you have two options: either you can turn down the skirt on the cylinder, or you can grind out or mill out the inside of um, of the engine or the crankcase. Uh, what's uh, the best option depends on how much. Uh, skirt is on the cylinder or how much you can take off before it gets too thin and how much uh, mat material you have in the engine so you have to choose uh, choose which uh, if you want to take it off from the cylinder or the engine case uh, yep uh, okay so the next thing is uh, the deck height or to get the right height, the cylinder sitting in there at the right place in relation with the piston. Um, if it's off, you uh, say the piston is sitting too low. You can either mill down the the mating surface for the cylinder on the engine if there's room, or you can mill down the mating surface on the cylinder bottom. Or you can mill down the top, but then you will get much higher port durations. And if you do mill down the top, then the piston is probably traveling below the ports at the bottom dead center, and then you will have to lower the port floors too. So, um, this is all the things you have to consider. And you should measure your ports and uh, the durations to see where they're at before you start uh, messing with them. So, um, but so if it, uh, if you have to mill down the case or the or the cylinder, uh, then there's really no nothing to extra to do. You just mill it down till it fits. Uh, if there's uh, you need to add material or uh, the cylinder is sitting too low and you need to raise it, you will have to make a spacer cylinder spacer of the right thickness and. Uh, when you are making this spacer, you have to, or when you calculate the, the thickness you need, you have to consider the thickness of the gas gaskets you need to use too. So you need a gasket on each side of the spacer. Um, now I'm going to show you how I make these cylinder spacers. Okay, so the first thing I do uh, when I'm going to make a cylinder spacer is I first I find um, a piece of material aluminium uh, you can use copper or maybe even some plastics but I think uh, aluminium is uh, uh, it's easy to work with and uh, cheap or relatively cheap so and you uh, can find it in uh, many thicknesses easily so um, you find the a piece of aluminium or uh, copper <laughs> yeah, piece of aluminium in um, the right thickness, and yeah, just remember to consider the um, the gaskets, so you're not uh, exactly on dimension with the spacer. You need to have some room to to adjust it with the um, uh, with the um, gaskets. You take that piece of aluminium and uh, gasket from your new cylinder, and you just put it on there and trace the inside with a sharpie or pen or you can even uh, blue it uh, or um, use markup fluid and uh, scribe it but I think it works good with just a pen so and remember to mark the stud holes too If you care about the looks of your setup, you can mark the outside of the gasket too, so that you can uh, trim it down to match the cylinder. I usually just uh, cut 
cut it, uh, just cut a uh, rectangular piece or square piece because I don't care. I don't, I'm not that worried about the looks. Like that. Then I um, use a center punch and I carefully find the center of each hole. Uh, I couldn't find it uh, at the moment, but I, um, I, when I do this, I have a seven millimeter uh, bushing that fits on my center punch, and I align it for the holes, and then the center punch them. I won't do it now because I'm not going to waste this piece of material uh, for showing this. But I center punch the holes, I take it to the mill, and then I drill them. Um, the next thing you will have to do is to remove all the material from the inside uh, here. And uh, the easiest way or the fastest way is of course to use a mill, but uh, uh, most people don't uh, own a mill. So uh, how I do it, because I don't own a mill, uh, I have, uh, I, there's a mill available to, for me to borrow, but it's uh, far away from here, so uh, usually I do things with hand, to hand tools. Uh, the first uh, thing I do is to use a hole saw of the correct size and I cut out uh, most of the material uh, in, the, in the circle with the, with the hole saw in my drill press. Uh, then I, uh, and I can show you with this spacer I made for a previous version of the SPX. Then I use, um, or you could use, you can use um, the basic tools that you have to uh, own for doing this is uh, a drill press or just a hand drill and drill bits and files. And I've do done uh, a few cylinder spacers with just files and uh, drills. Um, what you, uh, but it's more, it's faster and more convenient if you uh, buy a Dremel tool or like this dentist tool, which came with a um, um, a ninety degree head also, uh, which I was going to use for porting, but it failed almost instantly. So don't buy these cheap um, Chinese uh, dental tools for uh, porting. Because the 90 degree heads that's so convenient for porting transfers will break uh, immediately. But anyway, this is held up. The straight head has held up uh, for me uh, uh, for a long time now. So I think that's of okay quality. And I also own a um, uh, Dremel knockoff with a flex shaft. And that's what I've used to, uh, to uh, grind out uh, all the transfers and, uh, and shaping of my cylinder block so that's good um, uh, what do you call it good um, you get you get what you pay for or you get good value for your money you don't get what you pay for you get much more than what you pay for with the, the cheap Dremel knockoffs but using a flex shaft because then the bearings in the Dremel itself or the fake Dremel won't fail so fast or won't fail at all it seems um, but uh, okay, um, but you can do this. It just it will just take a little bit more time than with a um, grinder tool with just hand files. And I don't think I have to show you how, but you just use the file and you file away until you hit your line. That's all there is to it, and it doesn't take that much time either. And. Uh, uh, you should get a set of different sizes. These small needle files are great for uh, sharp corners and uh, hard to reach areas. And uh, the bigger ones are great for just hogging out material. Uh, so you, you will get a long way with just files. But with a Dremel tool uh, you can do it much faster. That's about it. Uh, when you're done with the spacer, uh, I highly recommend that you um, uh, get yourself a granite block or a thick piece of glass and some um, fine grit sandpaper and just uh, 
make sure that it's uh, flat and level on each side because um, these big sheets of aluminium aren't always uh, as flat as they seem so um, that's how I do it and I will make sure to uh, show you when I actually make one the next time I am going to okay that's um, that was my first attempt at um, anything like a small tutorial or uh, uh, something like that so uh, uh, I hope some uh, hope it was useful for someone for some of you um, I will go into detail uh, about uh, all the different uh, parts of building a Franken a Franken engine uh, and especially when making a cylinder that doesn't fit your engine fit your engine uh, when I uh, the next time I build uh, something uh, of, of something like that and that brings me to this uh, this is a uh, Derby DRD Pro um, dirt bike moped or a shifter 50, 50 shifty 50 or whatever you call it um, and it was given to me by um, a guy I work with named Fredde so uh, a big thanks to Fredde and uh, his donation um, I'm going to do something um, or build something uh, with at least parts from that bike uh, or I'm going to build something on that bike uh, not sure quite um, not quite sure of where I'm going to go with it yet that's something I'm going to work with in the future or work on um, and there might be some pieces there you, that can be useful on my SPX too we'll see so uh, that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. At least I hope it was uh, entertaining. At least. So uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Click the like button. Comment. Tell me. Uh, tell me what I uh, have to do differently. Or uh, just tell me if you really liked it or really hated hated it. And um, I'll see you in the next episode. And that might be about uh, something entirely different. I've um, uh, let me see if I can find them. I've got this bag of plastic pearls from work. You know the ones that you put on these boards with spikes on them. And I was thinking, cause and you melt them with a um, uh, iron, I, ironing iron, and make to make uh, the shapes or no. you make figures, figures, and they're hearts and flowers and stuff like that for kids, and uh, then you melt, uh, use a uh, iron iron to uh, melt them together, uh, and I was thinking maybe I could melt these and see how they if they could be used as some kind of bushing material or just for fun making fun stuff weird stuff so yeah okay thanks for watching bye